Parents of elite gymnasts want answers tonight. This after three local gyms announced that they are cutting their ties to women's teams. KPRC 2's Sabir Rayford is live at H-Town Elite Gymnastics in the Heights with a story you'll see only on 2. And Sabir, you are hearing from a mother who is feeling blindsided by all this. Daniela Keith, I'm also hearing from the owners of this gym who say they are hearing from a lot of top competitors looking for a top spot here. Now, these athletes train for years, vying for scholarships and Houston Gymnastics Academy's decision to stop their women's competitive program. Other moms and I were like, um, whoa, what just happened here? HGA is one of a few local gyms recently acquired by Powers Gymnastics, a company operating one of the largest networks of USA Gymnastics certified gyms. We spoke to two other Houston gyms now owned by the company who have eliminated their women's teams. Power Gymnastics LinkedIn states they roll up gymnastics facilities and manufacture and lease Ninja Warrior obstacles. It was really sad that we had to leave um, the HGA. The women's team was a family. Houston Gymnastics Academy sent us a statement saying they've always had a small women's program and have historically focused on the men's team, which is one of the top teams in the country. Going on to say, quote, this week we unfortunately had to make the decision to close the women's program after the unexpected resignation of the coach of the program. Great competitive coaches are in extremely high demand and it's nearly impossible to recruit or train someone in a two week time frame. It's so sad. Now we also spoke to a coach who said that this can impact competitors getting scholarships. As for H-Town Elite, they say they are still accepting people. So if you do have a competitive gymnast in need of a home, they are looking at those competitors. Reporting live in the Heights, Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News. All right, Sabir, thank you. Hope they all find homes.